Yo, what's up, all my new buddies? It's Stitch here, coming at you with yet another t kind of tutorial video. But this video is more on for people that want to become YouTubers. And I'm just gonna show you guys what I do for my videos. Um, so yeah, we should get Tasha Studio Recorder, but that's not important. What really is important is this software right here, DX Story. Now, yes. Um, I use the X story, and I'm gonna show you guys what codecs to get if you want to have small file sizes and some pretty nice quality. About the same quality of, as Lagrith, I used to use Lagrith, and that messed up a lot of my recordings. Like that messed up like 80% of them because Lagrith would it doesn't really go well with rendering out softwares, and I just had a lot of problems. And I now use this codec right here, but I'm just going to start from left to right. So yeah, this is just, um, once you click onto something, it will show you, um, what's going on, but it doesn't, it just tells you a bunch of advanced stuff. This is, um, what you're going to be seeing while you're recording. Um, what's really cool about this software is that... It tells you the frames of your game while you're playing, and it does not pick it up. Um, whenever you want to do something custom, you always want to uncheck this one. Always. It's just simply because if you don't, the next time you record, or when you record, it will just reset it to default settings. And I like to put blue as not my non-recording non software. I like to be, I like to, to be a, kind of a capacity of good whatever I don't know what that uh, was called see-through and this is your write speed and again uncheck that if you want to actually record and this is your benchmark to see how much your um how fast your processor is to write to your hard drive oh my god mine's terrible right now holy shit it varies from time to time see now it's just like a lot better and after this it will tell me what it's going to be and yeah 93 okay but I'm gonna knock it down to 60 I know I just probably had it at 80 but that was kind of messing up my recordings so yeah again have this thing unchecked that's very important I have it as num delete and num slash I never really use num slash and I that's at a part I never really use, so I put it at that button. So I remember what it is. This stuff, yeah. Um, this stuff you kind of want to just leave this alone. Make sure it's at file output if you want to record it, and not this one because this one's for live streaming. Have it file format AVI because that is just no, don't don't do that one. This stuff just kind of leave it alone because you don't really want to have your video clipped in any way this is if you want to record in um, let's say you want to record in 720p so you, I think it's like width is 1280 height is 720 I don't know why I didn't save probably because I wasn't on default yeah and so yeah, this is the codec that you should use, and the settings for this are preset to ultra fast, and want to have the fast decode checked, zero latency, tuning none, profile auto, level auto, convert to YUV four colon two colon zero. It should be at that like that at default. Want to have to be single press refactor based CRF. I have mine at fifteen. Um, my, since my computer isn't that great, I'm gonna bump it up to 18. Holy shit, no, no, no. 18. And, yeah, it, basically, the lower it is, the higher quality, the higher it is, the lower quality. Um, if you want it to have at VFW, do not have it at a file, you, um, it will be preset to probably that. You want to change it to this one? Not lowercase, I mean, not higher case x, lowercase x. You want to do dash dash key int space one. 
it's very important to have two dashes. If if you have just one dash, it's not going to record, and you're just going to feel probably really bad about yourself afterwards because you did not record that awesome moment. <laughs> and what you want to do is press enter. Sometimes you want to go back into it because sometimes it does not save. All right, and now for the next one, audio. What you want to do is you usually want to have your mic above everything. So what you're saying is first in your audio. Um, there is this thing called lame that you could you, that you might want to get. It's pretty cool. It helps, and you you also want to have it exactly at what your speakers are giving out. Like if you go to sound and go click right there, go to that properties, advanced. See, it's 24 bit, 4800 hertz studio quality, and that's exactly what you want on that. If it's not, it'll just come out kind of bad and comes out, sometimes separates from your, the actual time you're talking. And yeah, um, same with the speakers. I just have a set preset of PCM because it goes to that, and I do not know which one is which because it does not tell tell me that. But yeah. Make sure that record sound is checked and make sure the default setting is unchecked. This, uh, I just leave it alone because I never really take screenshots. This, um, you don't really want to mess with this too much. I mean, you can if you want to, but not really recommended. Um, I have two processing threads. I have a dual core, which is not that great for recording, but I don't know. And then global, it doesn't really matter. This just affects... Um, uh, like the profile icon, see if it's like that, and whatever. It, see, it would just change that. And this is just if your thing's registered, and yeah. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you guys like this, just, you know, leave, hit a like button, tell your friends, and stuff, and yeah, just hope you're my channel. It helps me a lot, you know? And yeah, these are my settings for DX story and what I use, which codec I use. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye.